guys. I've got a book for you today. It's called Bear's Loose Tooth by Karma Wilson. And we want to thank Simon & Schuster for letting us read this book today. Are you ready? From a cave in the forest came a munch, munch, crunch as Bear and his friends all nibbled on their lunch. Bear savored every bite. He gulped and he gobbled. Then there in his mouth something wiggled and it wobbled. As Bear nibbled food, something moved when he chewed. It was Bear's loose tooth. Bear pointed in his mouth and he said, Oh dear, my tooth feels funny. It's the one right here. Bear frowned and he worried. Tears welled in his eyes. But how will I eat if my tooth says goodbye? Hare said, open wide. Then he looked inside and saw Bear's loose tooth. Mouse squeaked, don't fret, don't fuss, look see. A new tooth will grow where the old used to be. We'll help, said Wren. I know what to do. It's out with the old and in with the new. Went Wren perched on Bear's lip and he got a good grip on Bear's loose tooth. Do you think he can do it? Wren pulled on the tooth with all of his might. Is it out? asked Bear. But it stayed stuck tight. I'm a bit too small for the job, said Wren. So Al grabbed the tooth, but the tooth stayed in. Badger said, I'll try, and he gave a big pry on Bear's loose tooth. They all took a turn, but the tooth wouldn't budge. Then Bear used his tongue, and he gave a little nudge. His tooth wiggled to and fro. Then what do you know? Bear's tooth fell out! Bear danced a big dance. Bear grinned a big grin. Bear held up his tooth and he showed all his friends. Bear looked in the mirror and he laughed at his smile. The new tooth would come, but it might take a while. That night in bed, right next to his head, was Bear's loose tooth. While he slept and he snored, a fairy fluttered in. And she left blueberries where Bear's tooth had been. He woke in the morning and found the sweet treat. Bear's friends came for breakfast. They sat down to eat. Bear gulped and he gobbled. And he felt something wobble. Uh-oh. Bear's loose tooth. <laughs> Did Bear have another loose tooth? I think so. Hey guys, it's Natalie again with Farley the Flossosaurus. And today, Farley's gonna help us demonstrate how we are supposed to brush our teeth. So did you know that as children, we have 20 teeth? But as adults, our baby teeth, they start to fall out, they wiggle and jiggle and they fall out. And then we get an adult tooth that we keep for life. Just like Farley's. And we have 32 adult teeth and that includes your wisdom teeth. So, it's very important to keep our adult teeth and our baby teeth protected from cavities. So today we're going to talk about why it's important to brush our teeth and what we need to do to make sure we're getting all the nooks and crannies of our teeth. Alright, so when we're holding our toothbrush, does anybody know if we need to hold our toothbrush straight across to brush or sideways? What do you think? That's right, we want to hold it sideways at a 45 degree angle. That way, we're protecting our gums on our, in our mouth, and that is the pink portion that are above your teeth and below your teeth. So if you see right here, that's your gums. So when we're holding our toothbrush at a 45 degree angle, you want to make sure we're getting the front of our teeth and working all the way to the back because when we're brushing, that's getting all the germs and plaque and bacteria that's left in our mouth after we eat food out. So you wanna brush way back in the molars 
You want to brush the bottoms and you want to just do like a circular motion, not too hard. And you also want to use a soft bristled toothbrush. What else should we brush in our mouth? Does anybody know? We also want to brush our tongue. Why should we brush our tongue? Does anybody know? We want to brush our tongue because if we don't brush our tongue, you might have stinky breath. Who wants stinky breath? Nobody wants stinky breath, so you want to brush your tongue. And if you don't, it might fall out. <gasps> just kidding. It won't fall out. Farley's just a puppet, but he is a special friend. And he wants to make sure that you brush your teeth twice a day. And you also want to floss your teeth once a day. When you're not flossing, you're missing 35% of your tooth. So it's very, very important that you either floss before or after you brush your teeth. Usually do this at night, that way you're getting all of that extra food and bacteria that's left in between our teeth out before we go to bed. Because if we're leaving that in our teeth every day, over time that can cause cavities and we do not want that to happen. So remember to brush your teeth two times a day, morning and night, and floss once a day. Thanks guys and hope you have a wonderful day. I want to thank our special guest for teaching us all about teeth. Thanks a lot. Bye guys.